Hey guys, do subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified about our future videos. We're taking a quick trip back to outer space to give you a quick update on Chandrayaan 2. What goes up comes down, but ideally it shouldn't come crashing down. Unfortunately, that was the fate of Indian Space Research Organizations or ISRO's Vikram Lander. Before your head starts swirling with questions, let's find out what went wrong with the lander, what the future of the mission is, and most importantly, why Chandrayaan-2 is not a failure. If you don't already know, launched in July, Chandrayaan-2 is India's latest lunar mission. The Vikram lander, part of Chandrayaan-2, was scheduled to land on the 7th of September. This would have made India the fourth country to successfully soft land on the moon. What's more, India would have been the first country ever to land on the moon's south pole. But just two kilometers from touchdown, contact with the lander was lost. Initially, the deep shadows on the moon's south pole made it tricky to find the lander. Hope reignited when the thermal images of the lander were taken a few days later. The lander was meant to function for 14 Earth days, which is one lunar day. And ISRO had just these two weeks to get the lander to work again. Unfortunately, the communication could not be re-established and ISRO was forced to give up the lander. If you find yourself wondering how things could go so wrong so fast, you're not alone. A freshly appointed committee of scientists and scholars is trying to find out just that. For now, experts believe that the speed of the lander was to blame. One of the thrusters could have malfunctioned at the very last moment, destabilizing the vehicle. We'll have to wait for the committee's report to know exactly what happened. Truth be told, soft landing on the moon, or in fact any alien surface, isn't nearly as easy as science fiction movies would have us believe. In fact, of the 109 lunar missions undertaken in the last 60 years, only 61 have actually succeeded. Till date, no country has managed to successfully land on the moon at their very first go. Even the first ever successful lunar mission, former Soviet Union's Luna, was preceded by at least four failed attempts. If that fact surprised you, wait till you hear what I say next. More than 95% of the Chandrayaan-2 mission is a success. Yes, you heard that right, a success. You see, the lander was only one ambitious but small part of the mission. Most of the mission was focused around the orbiter. And the orbiter is working just fine. Chandrayaan-2 orbiter will carry out a lunar surface mapping. It will also check for presence of various essential elements. Most importantly, it will try to find out exactly how much ice water is present on the moon's south pole. Thanks to all the fuel the orbiter saved on the way, ISRO has extended the orbiter's mission life from one year to seven years. And the results have already started coming in in the form of high-definition pictures and other super-precious data. Just getting serious for a moment. What we need to realize is that space is a mighty terrain to traverse through and that we are only human. Anu Club is a channel where we explain science and concepts. What we know and what everyone must acknowledge is the key to scientific success is actually failure. Any new scientific discovery is preceded by hours of crossing out, days of correcting and decades of patience. And this extends to outer space as well. It's easy for us to forget about the larger victory in face of a smaller failure. In the end, what matters is that we keep pushing through till we succeed. Because the true failure is in not trying at all. We at Anu Club are excited to see what Luna Secrets the Orbiter discovers. So we wish Chandrayaan 2 the very best of luck. Like, share and subscribe. And remember to press the bell icon to be notified of our future videos.